Yorkers, fellow New Yorkers, I'm here to help you spend your money uh, in real estate. Also, full disclosure, I'm, I'm not a New Yorker. I said fellow New Yorkers, so that would probably lead you to believe that I was, in fact, a New Yorker, as you are a New Yorker, thereby creating that bond and that trust between the two of us. And I actually forgot my wedding ring today, uh, and, you know, studies show uh, that people that are married that are wearing a wedding ring are typically more trustworthy. So, like, I really needed to throw a Hail Mary out there to get that trust with you guys right off the rip since I forgot the ring and I'm no longer uh, looking like an upstanding married individual that you can trust. But, alas, I am not a New Yorker. But you guys are, and that's why you click this video. Because, you know, you New Yorkers who want to invest in Cleveland, and I'm a Clevelander, okay? And the reason you guys want to invest in Cleveland is because our real estate is incredibly cheap, and you want to make some cash flow. Well, guess what? Even though I ain't got my ring on and I ain't a New Yorker, I know a thing or two about Cleveland real estate. $200 million in sales run the largest company of its kind, and I help thousands of people just like you every single day invest in the Cleveland market. I help you navigate the good, the bad, the pros, the cons. Let's jump in to an investment analysis right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. Today we're working for Sopio. Sopio, you are an investor from New York. As has already been established, I am not a New Yorker. I am a Clevelander, but I am married. So uh, I just forgot the wedding ring today, though. So everything I say is trustworthy, folks. I'm a married man. Now, Zopio, I'm pretty excited about this video because you've sent me some deals. And, you know, more or less, you sent me some crummy deals, honestly. Uh, but that's good, right? You're getting your money's worth, right? You're in New York. You're not supposed to know everything about the Cleveland market, but I am. I'm a Clevelander, right? We've established that. Now, without in-depth market knowledge, it's going to be very hard for an out-of-state investor from New York to make money in Cleveland, right? You have to understand the market. You have to understand what's going on out here, and that's what I'm for. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help people like you. So what I have for you today, Sopio, is something that's not in Cleveland, but it's in the Cleveland market. It's in a city called Elyria. I can almost guarantee you Outside of Holton Wise TV, you've probably, just like everybody else in New York watching this show right now, you've probably never heard of the city of Lyria, right? You Google, like, you know, you got a situation that everybody in New York, a lot of people in New York got, right? Like, hey, I want to become a real estate investor. You can make money owning rental property, but I can't afford to invest in real estate. What are the best real estate markets in the U.S.? And Cleveland's always popping up at the top, right? Always popping up at the top. You know what doesn't pop up at the top? pop up at the top you know what doesn't Elyria Ohio show of hands who out there in internetville has heard of Elyria Ohio yeah like nobody dude I've grown up in Cleveland my whole life I don't think I heard about Elyria until I was like 20 right it's a small little town half hour west and because nobody's heard of it there is a lot of of money to be made because the prices aren't being inflated. And I got a deal in some market knowledge, the inside scoop, so to speak, for you, Sopio. And real quick, just so everybody else is aware, I sent this video to Sopio months ago privately. So this property, 630 East Avenue, Elyria, it's not for sale as you all are watching it from New York, okay? Uh, I release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV after the fact. So, like, don't call the office like, hey, I want to buy 630 East. It's gone, dog. It's gone. But there's more like it. So if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, get your own real-time videos uh, like Sopio is doing, click the link below or shoot your phone number to this here email address. Hop on the phone, book a free call. My team will talk to you about the process of working with me one-on-one -on -one like Sopio is doing, like you're about to see right after this break. Please. I think it's too big. No, 
No, I think I was drinking a lot. Welcome back, folks. This this is the good part of the show. The meat and potatoes, okay? 6.30 East Avaliria, five days on the market, and I believe we're getting a big discount here, $78,900. Now, anybody who's uh, paying attention to my show or understanding what's going on with the Cleveland market knows if you're buying duplexes in decent C-ish grade neighborhoods, you're paying about hundred grand. This one already deeply discounted at $78,900, and I think we could go a little bit further and get it for about $75,000. The question, why? Why do we have the ability to pick something that should normally be $100, pick it up for $75,000? Why? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, when people look at the Cleveland market from all over the world because people are hearing things, they're seeing national publications, articles, this or that, they're hearing that Cleveland's the best cash flow market. Cleveland's the best cash flow market. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. All they do is say Cleveland. They forget to mention all the other areas in the greater Cleveland area, the other cities, and investors right from all over the world. They just narrow in on stuff that has a Cleveland address. This doesn't have a Cleveland address. This has an Elyria address, right? Elyria, whoop, getting tied up on the cord here. Elyria is about a half hour west of Cleveland, right? People heard about LeBron James, right? You know, you've heard of LeBron James. I would imagine if you're a, a living, breathing human being, you know who LeBron James is, right? Everybody knows LeBron James is from Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. LeBron James ain't from Cleveland, people. No, he's not. LeBron James is actually from a city called Akron. It's about 30 minutes south of Cleveland, right? Southeast, all right? So this is the same distance from the city of Cleveland as LeBron's hometown, but everybody just refers to everything as Cleveland, right? That's great. Because that means all the investors from nationwide are focusing in on the Cleveland properties, and I believe that artificially inflates their price a little bit. And then deals like this one fall through the cracks because nobody's paying attention, right? It's in the Cleveland market. My team, we handle it, $200 million in sales. We have tons of properties over here, right? To us, it's all the same, right? To the locals, it's all the same, right? To out-of-state folks, they don't ever pay attention to that. You never hear of Valeria. There ain't no... National publications, no articles on any investment website you're on where they're like, Elyria is a great place to invest. Nobody's ever said the name Elyria. It's a teeny little suburb, right? Cleveland, the Cleveland market, folks, multiple millions of people, right? I think it's three or f three to four million people, I believe, is in our metro area. Only like 340,000 of them actually live in the city of Cleveland. Think about that, right? In addition, I actually like the government in Elyria better than the government in Cleveland. Now, that's one reason why the price is so low. Second reason it's falling through the cracks here is, well, the, <laughs> the listing agent, God bless his soul, hasn't done anything, okay? As far as pictures go, we got one picture, nothing else. What did he have to say about the property? Not a damn thing, a completely blank listing. Didn't say what the rents were, didn't write not one word about the property. Literally did next to nothing bare minimum effort this is not the appropriate way to market a property but that's okay i dug deep found out some info for you guys the tenants are paying 500 bucks a month in rent now you have no insight into what's going on with this property you have no idea what it looks like you have no idea what the conditions is uh and you don't know what the rents are unless you're talking to me and i've just told you they're 500 right so you have no clue what's going on well guess what here's the skivvy here's what you really need to know here's the information you're going to have that everybody else doesn't have 500 that's below market rent month-to-month -month tenants below market your market rates for these units are 650 and 750 we got a one one a two one should be bringing in market 168 of that 168 i believe after fixed and variable expense estimates you'll be netting approximately 78 78 i believe we can get it at 75 because nobody's paying attention to Elyria. number one number two <laughs> the marketing there's like nothing for anyone to work off of, right? Uh, so because of that, I think we can get it at 75. That means you pick this up, only 18750 out of your pocket. Bank kicks in the rest. And that, folks, would be a 27% cash-on-cash return if you can get those current tenants up to market rate. We'd want to do so by slowly increasing the rents. We wouldn't want a turnover to occur because I'm going to tell you some more information that's not in the listing. And you know what? This is information that you're going to get when you've sold $200 million worth of real estate. Here's the deal. This is not something you should anticipate. The units are brand spanking new. Now, long-term, month-to-month, below-market rate tenants. When those tenants move out, 
You're not just sweeping and then putting in new tenants at market rate. No, you're doing a full turnover, right? You're probably looking at like between five and 15 grand, depending on what's going on, right? Uh, walls, carpet, probably new kitchen, new bath uh, fixtures, okay? It's probably what's going to happen. That's what you need to anticipate. So we don't want to just jack their rent up and you have them move out because we don't want to spend that money, no. Instead, we go up slowly, 25, 25, 25, and get them up to market rent without ever creating a turnover, never paying for that turnover, right? Turnovers are what kill your returns, guys. Not getting a 1000 bucks a month for a $75,000 property. It cash flows right now. Okay, so everything we get is going to be cherry, right? You want to get more rent without incurring a turnover. And as far as your big ticket items, roof, hot water tank, furnace, do not expect any of them to be brand new because they are not. Now, back to my chart. As you see, I have a little something here, $840 a year for capital expenditures, okay? That's money you're saving. You actually get that money right now, okay? That's your money. But I'm not allowing you to consider that return right it i don't hold it it goes to you so you could spend it on freaking hookers and cocaine if you want but what you need to understand is that's fairy dust <laughs> different than the dust you're shoving up your nostrils uh you're not actually making that money because you have some big bills that are going to be coming up a roof is about seven thousand dollars roofs last about 30 years this property don't got a new roof when we get it inspected by the third-party home inspector, I'm sure it's going to say it's got, you know, the last five years or so of its life cycle, right? Ten, five to ten. It's going to be in the back end. Furnaces cost about three grand. We're going to be in the back end of those. They last 30 years. How water tanks, they cost a grand. We're going to be on the back end of those, right? So they last, uh, cost, cost about a grand to replace, last about 15 years. We're going to be the back end of all three of those things. That's why... I want you saving 840 a year and preparing for when those bills eventually come because they will. But hey, guess what? We're picking this thing up at 75k and a property basically in the exact same condition, properly marketed with a Cleveland address, we get you a very similar tenant base, very similar rent rates, be in the same or similar condition and it cost you about 100,000. So this deal is a screamer, but ain't nobody but you knows it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.